In this video, we're going to discuss accessing the voicemail. By default, the system uses the visual voice settings, which means that when you press your voicemail button, all of your options are on the display. You can see here that our voicemail light is lit because the message icon is red, as well as our message waiting indicator in the top right corner. So if I press the voicemail message button, I am given several options. My first one is to listen to my message. I see here that I have one new, zero old, zero saved. Because I've set this user to also receive notification when messages are left in the main hunt group, you see here the second option is for the hunt group. They have zero messages, new, old, or saved. If there was a message there, there would be a number as well as the message indicator. So I scroll down. I have the ability to leave a message. This would be to leave a message for myself, which I could then forward to others. We typically don't do that now that we have email, but there's still the ability. I can scroll down and change the greeting. The greeting is the message that people hear when they reach my voicemail. This is the, hello, I'm not able to take your call at the moment. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. That's where you would change that. Name, this allows us to change the name. Now, this is what is actually heard when transferring to your voicemail. Little note, in order to be reached by the dial by name directory in the auto attendant, you have to have a name recorded. Because if I were to use the dial by name directory and I type in the name that's on the phone, I hear now transferring your call to and whatever this recording is. So that has to be done to be reachable from the dial by name directory off an auto attendant. Passcode allows us to change the passcode on the phone. So you notice when I press the message button, I went straight in. That's because there is no passcode set up on this phone. If I set a passcode, I would have to enter that passcode in order to check messages from here or remotely. Voicemail currently on. This does not delete the mailbox. This changes whether or not calls will go to voicemail when my extension is called. So if I turn that off, calls to extension 299 will ring until they give up. So now let's go back in and let's check listen. I want to listen to these calls. I'm going to select it. I see I have one new, zero old, zero saved. There's no left or right arrow, so there's nothing else to see. I only have these three options. So I'm going to hit OK and listen to the new one. I now have the details for the call. I see it was a call from Mary at 1029 on that date. I can play it, which is probably just background noise from an earlier training video. I can pause it, play it again. I can call her back. If I hit more, I can save it, delete it, or copy it. Now, I know it seems a little counterintuitive, but copy allows me to send a copy to someone else. So this is how you would forward a message. So I can record something over it saying, hey, check out this call from Mary, or I can just hit send to and dial the extension number or choose from the directory. In this case, I'm going to send it to 202. And I'm going to add them to it. So now when I hit send, I've now sent a copy of that message to extension 202. Okay. Again, if I wanted to change or send it to somebody else. So I'm going to get out of this. I don't want to send it. I don't want to send a copy anymore. So I'm going to cancel and I'm back. And now I'm, I'm listening to the message. So I can hit play and listen to it. You know, I'm going to hit delete. Now I've deleted the message. You'll notice my message indicator turned off. My message light is no longer red. I no longer have any new messages. Okay. I can scroll down to greeting. If I hit select, I can listen to the greeting that's there, or I can record a greeting. So I want to record a greeting. So right now it's going to record whatever I'm saying from the speakerphone as the greeting. So I can hit stop. Now I can listen to what's there, or I can submit it. If I submit it, that is now what people are going to hear when they call my mailbox. I can also delete what we just recorded. In this case, that's what I want to do. Okay. So I can hit cancel, and now I'm back out of greeting. Same thing with name. I can record it or listen to what's there. So again, to access your message, you hit the message icon, scroll through, and follow the prompts on the screen. 